Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the world of StarCraft II, Heart of the Swarm. In the previous episode, we got to manage our very first Zerg base, destroy a giant ass cannon, but we also lost Raynor. He was killed? And God, I don't know if he really was killed or if he really wasn't, but I tell you what, guys, I got a tear in my eye, and uh, it's, it's not happy days for me. I am out for revenge, man. Raynor was my buddy. But guys, Let's have a look. We've got the option of two planets to go to, Char or Kelda. Why don't we have a look what happens if we click? Intercepted Dominion transmissions indicate the Zerg Swarm has been split into factions. Part of the Swarm is on Char, under the command of a broodmother named Sagara. Uh -huh. She is fighting a running battle against General Warfield's Dominion forces. Okay, so on Char we've got a brood mother, and it looks like we can get a Baneling and an Aberration. A Baneling is a, a suicide unit that explodes and deals ridiculous amounts of damage. An Aberration is a heavy frontline assault unit, deals extra damage to armored foes. Uh, what's on Keldor? A brood mother named Nafash took a Roach to and a Hydralisk. Um, I'm fans of Roaches and Hydralisks, so let's go to Keldir. Keldir. Sorry, I interrupted you, uh, <laughs> face lady. <laughs> Set your business again. Nafash took her brood to the frozen moon of Calder. Recent reports indicate a Protoss presence there. There is a high likelihood that Nafash is fighting the Protoss for control of Calder. Her brood is believed to contain highly evolved, dangerous Zerg organisms. Hells yeah, that sounds awesome. Let's travel to the land of the Protoss, the third race in the game StarCraft. You've got Zerg, you've got Terran, which are the humans, and you've got Protoss, which are the aliens. So that, let's go over there, guys. We get Hydralisks and Roaches, and I do love me some Hydralisk and Roach action, man. This is going to be sweet. And I'm guessing there's going to be another cutscene. It looks like Blizzard has spoiled us in this expansion by giving us a cutscene at the beginning and end of every single uh, stage, man. How awesome are Blizzard as game developers, man? Seriously, they are just... They don't spare any expense to make their games as sweet as possible. Cutscene time, baby! Awesome! Man, what in the jazz is that? Is that an overlord? Don't go in there, man. Oh, it's Kerrigan. Man, she just landed in the bottle of an overlord. Zerg organisms detected. That's why I'm here. They'll either accept me as their queen, or I'll start killing them one by one until they do. Dominate them, Kerrigan! Oh, God, this is disgusting. What are you? I am Isha. Your Majesty used to store all her ideas, thoughts, and plans within me. <laughs> do you not remember? Yes. I do remember you. More importantly, you remember me. Man, all these Zergs speak you English. It's kind of weird. You are the Queen of Blades. I obey. Perfect. Summon the Swarm and prepare to move on Core Hall. The Swarm is in disarray. And will not answer your call. Most Zerg on Calder are under the command of Broodmother Nafash. She seeks to create her own swarm. While she lives, the swarm will be divided. Well, I'm not gonna have to teach her a lesson. Won't. Take us down to the surface. That is unacceptable behavior for a broodmother. I'm gonna show that woman who is the real freaking woman up in this planet. And it's me! Even though I'm a man, but uh, I'm Kerrigan, so I'm a woman. If you know what I'm saying! <laughs> okay, sweet. Um, this is really disgusting, man. They are just... Oh, God, there's... But, you know, I don't even want to talk about it, man. There's just slime and flesh and guts and moist stuff everywhere. It's really disgusting. Right, so we've got an evolution pit here. We can Im improve creatures in the swarm, and we can go to our mission. Hatchery, new conversion... Aisha new conversion. What the jazz is going on up in here? Let's have a look in the evolution pit. Oh god, more bulging biological eggs. Oh god, foul. You disgust me, whatever you are. You are disgusting. What are you? Abathur. Evolve swarm, spin strands and sequences. Served over mind, then served queen of blades. Now serve you. 
I am the Queen of Blades. Mm, different. Examining genetic strands. Queen of Blades was efficient. Ancient Zerg qualities. Minor Terran influence. You, infected with more Terran matter. Grasper limb poorly designed. Can improve. We'll give it back better. Well, Don't touch me. You're really Only ugly, man. Focus is evolving the swarm. Can't change Seek ugly. perfection in all things. Work in evolution pit. Can review my work here. All right, he's he's kind of got a Yoda thing going on there, Many man. Just because he's ugly. to evolving swarm. Start with Zergling. All right, so it looks like this guy is going to be able to evolve our stuff. So let's have a look. How do we Organism evolve? Organism can be Zergling? upgraded. Three distinct mutations available. Once chosen, will activate sequences within creature. Improve combat potential. Mutation choice not permanent. Can alter at any time. Okay, so <laughs> Steve doesn't like using uh, joining words, man. Uh, hardened carapace makes him a little bit stronger. Adrenal overload, attack speed increases, and metabolic boost movement speed increased by 60%. You know what? I'm going to go with the metabolic boost, I think, so that we can move our zerglings around super fast. And we just have to make sure to um, to always be building zerglings. So our zerglings have, have super speed now, which is sweet. Now let's get back to this thing over here. So... Um, We've looked at the evolution pit, a hatchery, what the new conversion, what? The scouts report that Nafash set up a hive on this plane, but abandoned it shortly after. She moved off into those ice valleys. That must be where the Protoss are. All right, so we're going to hunt them down. And what happens if we click on old Tell Isho here? Tell me about here? this Leviathan. It is the organism from which you command the swarm. And this is its nerve center. And it can take me to any world I wish? Of course, my queen, but our numbers are few. Before conquering other worlds, you may wish to reclaim your forces here on Calder. Leave the strategy to me. <laughs> now, what else can I do on this Leviathan? You can evolve and upgrade your swarm in the evolution pit. All right, the we've already found the evolution pit. Thanks, Isha. Um, all right, guys, let's get out of the butthole of a, this Nefash Leviathan. Nefash moved to nasty. brood into these ice valleys to fight the Protoss. It is unknown if she will join you willingly. Okay, so main objective's reward is to, to get Kerrigan up five levels. Bonus objective is plus two levels more on Kerrigan. So we're going to try to get plus seven levels in total on Kerrigan. Let's get it on, people. This is going to be sweet. Damn, I cannot wait to get down to Calder. Look at that art, man. That is beautiful. Oh god, that is so awesome. I, that looks to me like um, a hive or a hatchery. Remember guys, a hatchery is where the primary structure of the Zerg um, begins. From the hatchery we make larva, and uh, from the larva we make our Zerg units. And the, um, the other, you know, the other thing, the important thing to remember is that we have to make drones, which are your base Zerg units. And from drones, you can either eat minerals, you can either nom nom minerals, or you can turn your drones into buildings so that you can unlock other units. And that is kind of how, um, you know, StarCraft 2 works, man. It's, it's really easy. And uh, I just want to thank everyone while this is loading for all your amazing support on the previous two episodes. You guys are really enjoying the series. And there's loads of you who are seeing StarCraft 2 for the first time. And I really hope you are enjoying it, man. Uh, you know, it is an incredible game. And I really would recommend anyone who's interested in trying a a real real-time strategy game to get your paws on this bad boy but guys let's press any key to continue it is mission time sweet this moon has pockets of intense cold called flash freeze storms one such storm is approaching it will push temperatures down so fast that almost all thermal energy will be lost Hmm, that does not sound very good. The storm will pass quickly, oh, but God. while it is here, your troops will be frozen in place. I can sense indigenous creatures nearby. Their matriarchs have powerful essence, strong enough to help us adapt to this cold. Sweet. Okay, so Kerrigan has spotted some yetis. Who asked you? Um, and we're going to do our best to take those yetis Push out. Ahead. So we've got um, Kinetic Blast, we've got Crushing Grip, the same spells as, as last time. I have to find an Ursodon um, Matriarch and get her essence. And we also have Burrow. The Zerglings can Burrow, it seems. And can Kerrigan Swarm Burrow hungers. also? Boop. 
the Ker Kerrigan can go underground. Speak quickly. Uh, that's kind of weird. What is it but... now? All right. Let's go with it. Oh God! There's right. not much time. So we're hunting down Yetis. Let's get this over with. Um, it looks like this our zerglings are really fell. fast. It is not under the control of any higher entity. You have my attention. The swarm never outwitted us. Yay! He's with what us. Is it now? Sweet. Okay, so because Get the Zerglings are faster than me, I'm going to put them in Control Group 2. So when I press 2, I select my Zerglings, and I'm going to put Kerrigan hungers. and the Roach into Control Group 1. Nothing so when I press 1, way. I select them. Um, so let's quickly zap that guy Who with Kerrigan's um, Kinetic Another Blast spell. Roach. Something is very wrong. Right, so I've got this Roach, right? I've selected it. I'm going to hold Shift and press 2, and that is going to add the group... Uh, sorry, that's going to... Uh, I'm going to hold shift and press 1. That's yes. going to add the roach to control group 1. Um, so that is Speak. its kind of how you can control your, your unit. What Pretty is it now? Sweet. Crushing grip, There's these no guys. You? We do not want to lose one of our zergings, man. They are so cute. Yes? The flash freeze is near. Oh, Lord. I just have to find an Ursodon matriarch. Where is an Ursodon matriarch? The swarm hungers. Out with it. There's another roach to join the swarm. Two more roaches to join the swarm. The flash freeze has arrived. Oh god, Your even troops are frozen. Even Kerrigan is frozen. Damn. led by matriarch, strong essence. Okay, we got to take down this beast. Assimilated, swarm will resist flash freeze. Oh god, unfreeze, please. Unfreeze. Flash freeze is passing. Focus fire the Yeti. The swarm never rests. Essence assimilated. Nice. Swarm resistant to flash freeze. Excellent. Excellent. And now I can sense Nefasha's hive cluster nearby. <laughs> I just jinxed Kerrigan, Internal man. Kerrigan and I said excellent at the same time. Regain that was sweet. health. You know what I want to quickly figure out, guys? Give me one second, man. I want to see if I can turn on subtitles. Hold on. Okay, I've just turned on you? subtitles, guys, because some of what you guys uh, are saying that you can't hear what <laughs> what the time. units are saying because I Push often ahead. talk over them. So, uh, sorry about talking over them. I just can't help Speak myself, okay? Quickly. Ooh, what's that? Let's get this over with. Move Kerrigan here, okay. We have arrived! Oh, Nef Nefasha's brood. The Protoss must have wiped them out. Hmm. I'll awaken this hive cluster for the swarm. Wake up, everyone! Nice. The Protoss sense Sweet. the awakening. They are aware of our presence. Oh, bring it, Protoss. The Queen of Blades. But what has happened to you? Frail and human. How dare you insult me? I will take you down. Protoss, I wondered when you'd show yourselves. We must inform Sakuras. They will send the Golden Armada. They will destroy you. Golden Armada? What the hell is that giant Isha, tower over there? Tell me the Protoss are out of range of Shakuras. They are, my queen. However, the Protoss have silent spires that can amplify their psionic communication. Oh god. Then we destroy those spires before the Protoss can activate them. Right, that is our mission. Take out them spires. This is going to be awesome. Okay, so we have uh, established our base it. over here, guys. I'm just going to make um, Kerrigan and Let's these roaches con with. control group one so that Who we always you? have access to Additional it. Let's extend matriarch the creep. Nearby. As if collected, swarm can become more efficient in flash freeze. Okay, cool. So like I'm going to make a queen. Swarm. That's what we need to make first. And let's if make a, a chance, whole bunch of drones. Some matriarchs. So I'm going to turn my first lava we into drones. Are these are drones over here and they are nom-nomming these minerals. By accomplishing these goals, you will grow more powerful. Your damage, energy, or life will immediately improve as your power level increases. All right, thank you, creepy, moist lady. Right, so this is a spawning pool, right? This is what allows me to build these things. This is a roach warren, which allows me to build um, a roach. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it all really starts to make sense, guys. Let's lay some more eggs. Let's Green spread our creep out a little bit more. Down. Let's move our Take overlords over here burn. to get a good vision of the land around us. Let's get this guy up onto the cliff here. It's going to allow us to see exactly what, what the jazz is cracking up in here. I'm going to build another queen and a few, more, um, more, a few more drones. Look, look we, we can have 9 out of 24 workers. Protoss approaching the hive cluster. So the first thing we want to do is max out our drones, guys. We want to get 9 out of 24 drones up in here. Oh, God! Approaching. 
The Protoss will be vulnerable until it passes. The Protoss are defenseless. Attack now. Check out these zealots, man. They have psionic blades on their arms. They, I mean, they Out are pretty it. awesome. They are pretty this awesome. This world is mine. Right, so I'm just going to carry on building drones. You can spawn more overlords to increase your supply. And hopefully Kerrigan and, and is going to be is going to be powerful enough to um, defend our our hive until our drones are fully saturated. And I'm going to use our queens, of course, to lay a few more eggs so that we can extend our creep as far onto the map as possible. Let's make more drones, and we need some more overlords. See, now the creep is really good, as I mentioned in the previous episode, because. Um, because what it does is it also rests. gives you vision, right? So check it out. There are some Protoss forces and they aren't moving. And that is awesome. Um, it looks like they have been flash frozen, which is uh, excellent news for me. Just yep. Flash freeze is passing. No. Nope. Oh God. In my way. Back up. Back Get up. Going. Back this up to the, to the giraffe moving. tower. Our forces <laughs> are under attack. Let's make some more drones while we're battling we over here. No, back up. Minerals. Back up. There's not much time. Push ahead. All right. This is going to be control group four, and uh, we're just going to carry on making drones. I think our army is going to be good enough to take this no thing escape. out um, quite, quite nicely, actually. Let's just lay some more eggs with our queens while we've got them here. We are just going to totally infest this planet with Zerg juice, man. This is going to be sweet. Right, let's cue this guy. These are pylons, right? And what pylons do, they never provide rest. power to the Protoss building. So you can see this, this Protoss building is just powered down. You have my and, um, that is sweet. So let's take our, this right, thing yeah. before... Oh, we have another base over here, guys. Excellent. Oh, God, we better get back here. We're under attack. Oh, God, all of my drones are not mining minerals because I didn't set a, a waypoint. Wow, that was that was terribly noobish of me. Better make some more... Uh, In a few moments, there think. will be a flash freeze. Right, let's make another um, another Vespine geyser thingy over here, and let's get our drones harvesting that Vespine gas, Vespine gas. We're also going to be building another base over here. We didn't take this out. No, that is not good. That is not good. Flash freeze storm has arrived. Press our advantage. Destroy the Protoss. Right, there we go. Taken out, taken out the Protoss base. Where is our drone? Let's make a new base, guys. Because, of course, a new base means um, we're, we're able to get more minerals at a faster rate. So the more bases we can get, the more resources we can get. And, um... Oh, there we go. We actually got a hatchery. Sweet! You have my attention. So the more bases we can get, the more resources we can get, and, of course, the more army we can build. So I'm going to just... Um, add this hatchery to control group 4. Now we've got two hatcheries in control group 4. I'm going to waypoint those control group 4s to here, make a couple queens, and a whole bunch of overlords, because that's exactly what we need. So, excellent. Flash, flash freeze duration is almost over. Now what we're going to try and do... Let's extend our zerg juice. Ooh, minerals, don't mind if I do. And best find gas. Oh, and Yetis, man. These Yetis want to battle. Happy to battle the Yetis. Never oh, God. There's no time. Nothing stands in mind. You have my attention. What is it now? Matriarch essence useful. Visibility okay. during Excellent. flash freeze increased. Unacceptable command. All right, guys. Let's this have a look what is, is down mine. here. Again, we're just going to get our, our queens to plant their eggs. Um, our units also regenerate hit points on creep. That is what this juice is. Get going. And we've just spotted another Protoss base. Let's double you and cue this guy. Bam. You have my attention. Oh god, I've got a drone here. The swarm never rests. All right, so my hatcheries are now going to waypoint to here, right? So when we build our units, all the units are going to come to this location the over here. Armada will come for you. And I've just made a butt ton of roaches and what we're going to do now is try and saturate this base right because Flash freeze we need to get approaching drones soon. mining all of these minerals over here these juicy minerals and we haven't even maxed out on drones at this location yet either so what i'm going to do is um, with it. i'm going to set up a sort of front line over here right so our front line is right here just outside the second protoss base here 
And while we hold the A line here, we will establish hit. our bases. The Protoss and, um, are defenseless. Attack now. Oh, the Protoss are, are defenseless. Go, go, go. This world is mine. Attack. Roaches, go join the army. Uh, it looks like I waypointed him correctly here. So um, this hatchery needs to waypoint over here. All right, there we go. Now we can sit back and make some drones. Let's make some... Um, there's been geyser extractors. I didn't have much hope of finding you alive one, at this two, point. Three. We the only Protoss need three more, so I'm going to cancel many this one. Times over. Now, our army is, has grown quite Let's nicely this over here. This is, Push this, ahead. this is pretty sweet. Man, we cannot see anything, man. This blizzard is crazy. Right, where are our queens? Because our queens can lay some eggs here to extend the Zerg juice across the land. Um... Why don't we send some overlords on a, on scouting missions, right? Even if they die, um, it doesn't matter. The we'll flash just build some freeze more. is ending. The flash freeze is ending. Thank goodness. And let's make a whole butt ton of overlords too. Now we've got our best queen guys' ready over here. Let's pick up as much gas as we can get because we're going to max out on roaches, man. And roaches take gas to make, right? If we look at how much a roach costs to make, it costs 75 minerals and 25 gas to make. The zergling costs 50 minerals and overlord costs 100 minerals. Oh god. We're under attack over here. All right, why don't we make a few buildings too? I think what we can do is probably make a few evolution chambers so that we can start upgrading our units. Remember, evolution chambers allow you to upgrade the damage, allow you to upgrade the armor um, of your structures. Uh, I mean, of your units. And of course, they also allow you to make spore, cr uh, spore crawlers, which are anti-air turrets, basically. Um, oops, too many drones made there. So once again, we're just maxing out our drones over here. Um, and number four is waypointing to over here. So our our overlords have done a In bit a of scouting. In a few moments, there will be a flash freeze. It looks like our the next flash target freeze storms are getting is going to be over here. It will be right. harder to take advantage of the storms. All right, so we better get moving, man. We better get moving. Zerg juice. Out with it. Kerrigan. Oh, there's Yetis flash there too. Flash storm has arrived. The swarm never rests. Yes? Bam! Right, let's just make sure we're making as many drones as we need over here. Our base is almost saturated full Out of drones. It. And of course, um, Nothing stands when I say in saturated, I just mean that there are There's the optimal number of drones Come mining gas. Um, that's all I mean by that. Come on, join, join the front line, roaches! Man, I can't see anything up in here, man. Damn! Let's extend the juice a bit. This is one of the um, one of the most important things about playing the Zerg flash freeze is, ending. is learning to spread your creep as far as possible because your creep just makes your units so much better. Um, oh my God! What is? Yes. W. Swarm Man, hunger. these are archons, right? And archons do flash damage, so they are really, really yes, good against us. Um, what I want is a, another couple of queens, I think. And now I'm just going to max out on roaches. Check how many roaches we're making. That thing here, man. Now? That was a flat ton of roaches. Nothing. Yes. Oh Push god, ahead. this isn't looking good, guys. We're going to have to this pull back. Is... Let's waypoint our hatcheries to this location over here. Oh no. Oh no. Let's waypoint it to over here. And I think what I want to do is make another hatchery, actually. Um, no. Run, queen. No, my queen got hacked! Who asked you? Alright, our upgrades are now ready to, to get going. So I've just selected our evolution chambers you and we are now attention. upgrading. Um, this is going to be added to control group 4, this yes. new hatchery. So let's once get again go with. to the front line. There's so this is going to be the front, front line. I've got soon. all of my hatcheries now um, waypointed to this location. So all army units are now going to head to this location. Let's make a butt ton of roaches. Check how much minerals and gas we have, guys. We have got an overload of minerals and gas. So let's make one more um, hatchery and let's put down our giraffe turret. And now we actually have four hatcheries. The Protoss um, forces are now frozen. And now we'll be able to reinforce our army like nobody's business. Because, of course, each hatchery makes um, lava. So the more hatcheries we have, the more lava we have. And that, of course, means the more army units we can make. Pretty simple, guys. Don't you think? 
Out with it. Alright guys, the flash freeze has arrived. What is we it can now take down this uh base. Go to the pylon. So that uh, we do power everything. Way. Without power pylon power, Protoss can't function. And here come, come our roach reinforcements. Get which going. Is great news. Let's take out their resource gathering. This is their their version of the hatchery. This is um, their nexus, right? Flash That's what the Protoss storm used is to harvest eating. minerals. Um, but the flash tree is about to end. What is it Kerrigan, now? where are you? And our you? third army is the weeds. No, a whole bunch of roaches to intention. take down this turret. And uh, I think what we need to do is add these queens to our group. Yes. And just make a few more overlords. One more left. And now we it's can just no max use, out on roaches. Kevin. Check how many roaches we can make, man. Shakurus will destroy you. Shakurus will destroy nothing. Don't you know I'm Imba? Out with it. Alright, so guys, looks like we are breaking into the main Protoss base. But what I want to do is get our Zerg juice up in here as fast as possible. Looks like we have... Got an attack up in our base, which is not good. Uh, let's make a whole bunch of roaches and waypoint our hatcheries to right here so that we can reinforce this position. Um, this is not good, guys. We are under attack. Um, lay eggs! Flash freeze will be here soon. Our roaches should have popped out by now, but we've lost our hatchery, which is not good. Let's build another hatchery. And uh, here comes some of our units attack these protoss buttholes all right let's let's finish off our hatchery over there and uh let's make a Flash giraffe turret over here, here too all right guys let's get these roaches up to here because it means flash freeze has arrived means the protoss are now frozen and uh, it means we can go and attack yes. their base with impunity the swarm hungers and the yetis have arrived our reinforcements have arrived. Our under Extend the Zerg juice. Alright, our Zerg army is looking pretty good, man. Let's head up this ramp over here so that we can um, get some more of these yetis Let's get this and become over completely with. immune to the flash, flash freeze. freeze ending. We should retreat until the next storm hits. Matriarch essence assimilated. Swarm perfectly adapted to fight in flash freeze storms. Nice. Right, so the I Zerg Swarm stronger. has completely evolved to uh, uh, to survive in cold weather. And uh, that is awesome. That is exactly what the Zerg are all about. So let's just lay some more eggs here, guys. What we're going to do is waypoint our hatcheries here and reinforce until we have maximum army size. As you can see, we have just hit maximum army. 200 out of 200 yeah, units. We cannot make it. any more. Um... Oh god, this is quite a large attack actually, we're gonna, oh my god, what is, uh, we have an immortal in our base, and an immortal is quite a kick-ass arm, a uh, quick kick-ass Protoss unit, as you can see, it has two giant cannons on it, and it is doing quite a lot of damage to us, so, let's get our main army all the way back to base, I think what I want to do is just build, like, a lot of giraffe uh, turrets, right, let's just make, like, let's just make, I don't know, a lot. In a few moments, there will be a flash freeze. Like this many. Let's get this over with. That should deal with any further the swarm attacks. Never rests. Let's go back to the front line. Um, extend the Zerg juice. Unacceptable command. Unacceptable command. Flash freeze has arrived. We have upgraded everything that we can upgrade. It flash seems. freeze. And um, what we'll do is just make some Zerglings, I think, out of our last remaining. Um, lava because we need some frontline units right we need the zerglings are good because they charge into the base first they take damage from all the turrets Rescue. and the towers and whatnot and then your high damage dealing units like your roaches can then come in and clean the place up man let's lay some more eggs <laughs> and these queens are like get out of the way you idiots i'm trying to lay eggs yes. up in here man Right, our Zerglings have arrived. They're going to be control group two. Um, let's use them to scout. They're going to come in first. But the flash freeze is hit, which means we can get our ass in here. Let's extend the juices. Where is Kerrigan? Kerrigan, cue that thing. Bam! This world is mine. 
Like, man, but we're not going to be able to get Kerrigan's level 5, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. The swarm sucks. never rests. Um, Out with it. Let's cue this Colossus. This over with. Press the attack. Nothing Bam. stands in my... You have my attention. What is it now? Yes? Nice, man. We are just smashing through this Protoss proto base with our Roach infestation. And, uh, man, this is so freaking sweet. Take out this thing. Mineral field defeated. Damn, man. We, these these drones have nom nom their way through all of these minerals. Um, right, so what we need to do now, guys, I think, is reinforce our army. So let's waypoint our hatcheries to this, this location and just... Press R until we have maxed out on roaches. We've got a whole bunch flash of new roaches will be coming. Here soon. We'll wait for the, the new flash freeze because that renders the protoss completely Mineral useless. Field. We'll just lay a whole bunch of eggs, um, extend the zerg juice as far as we can, and uh, we'll just sit here at the front line waiting for the flash freeze to come, and then we will deliver the final killing blow to these protoss bottles. And uh, it's going to be the sweet. The protoss forces are now frozen. Attack! Smash! Crush, kill, destroy! Going. Man, that was an awesome game also. I don't know how many of you guys ever played Crush, Kill, Destroy, but damn. That game is sweet. You have my <laughs> attention. Alright guys, the Protoss are frozen in place. We are smashing our way through their base. This one is mine. They are this rendered useless and we have evolved to fight the cold. To be able to function in cold and liquid inside the veins of our Zerg units. What is it now? It, it's got like antifreeze in it, going. man. Nothing, no amount of cold can do anything to stop um, our freaking passing. evolution, man. This There's is not much time. Sweet. Damn, well, it looks like this we eliminated most of their um, units before they could even this get anywhere mine. near defeating our army. Nothing and now what we're going to do my way. is surround this thing this for one now. final pop. And hopefully we can kill this, this thing in one with. shot. Let's give it a go. The swarm never rests. Almost one shot. Two shots, man. Get going. Sweet. You'll regret that. <laughs> that was epic. Retreat. Man, my army was much the bigger Protoss than that. The Protoss expedition will be unable to contact Shakuras. Now they have to deal with us. I would call that a win. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. Main objective reward, five Kerrigan levels. Why, thank you very much. Bonus objective reward, two of two Kerrigan levels earned. Thank you. New unit acquired, Roach. 40 kills on Kerrigan, 193 enemy troops killed. Damn, that was a massacre, man. Uh, 60 frozen enemy troops killed, 173 was our largest Zerg force. Sweet. Unfrozen structures destroyed, 28. We got the Harvest of Screams um, objective. We got the destroy 20 unfrozen unit structures objective, but we didn't get complete the Harvest of Screams mission in less than 15 minutes on normal. Oh well. <laughs> that was freaking sweet, guys. We should have a cutscene to go. So sit back, relax, and let's watch the, the cutscene for the end of this stage. Oh man, that was an epic stage, man. I just love how they, uh, you know, they gave you opportunities to attack. Like if you were patient, you could maximize your attack. We captured a prisoner in the wastes and subdued her, my queen. She says she is a researcher. <laughs> I didn't order you to take prisoners. Man, she Abathur is trapped requested in an it. urchin. He wants to dissect her. What's the point? He won't be able to use Protoss genetic material. He likes to try. Actually, Man, he's kind of psycho. Keep her alive for now. I might find a use for her. <laughs> okay, awesome, My guys. My queen, your chamber is now available. Within, you can alter your abilities. Why, well, thank you, Isha. <laughs> Thanks for the information. We can also start a conversation with Lasara, our, our cap captured Protoss buddy. But guys, I'm going to end the episode here. We will be doing all of that jazz in the next episode. What the hell was that that just snuck in for a look? Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, hit that like button. We are playing StarCraft II, Heart of the Swarm. Cannot wait to see you in the next episode, my friends. Good freaking bye!